Today we are going through the diagnostic test of um, data protection module. And uh, the first question is um, the right to privacy can be described as protecting the freedom to. Uh, privacy is whereby you are being protected from intrusion. So it's live a personal life free from unwanted intrusion. Which one of the following is an example of personal data? So personal data is data that can be uh, can be used to track back at any living person. So here the location data on your mobile phone can be termed as personal data as it uniquely identifies uh, your current location. Which one of the following is considered data processing in relation to personal data? Data processing means working with collected data. So storing patient records is part of data processing. Which one of the following is an example of manual data processing in a hotel environment? So manual data processing means that you are keeping physical or hard copies of information. So storing physical copies of, of guest detail in a fling cabinet is the correct answer. The process of uh, the purpose of data protection is to protect. Now, data protection is protecting people's right in, rela in relation to their own personal data. So we go to the second with the second option. You work on a team in the motor tax department. Which one of the following is a potential risk relating to personal data? So as when you are working, uh, risks uh, talk about uh, something that may go wrong. So theft of personal data from an unlocked filing cabinet is a risk when you're working with people's information. Which one of the following is a potential risk for individuals from personal data pro uh, processing? So when, when your personal data has been provided to to, to a third party or to another person, what could go wrong? So the fraudulent use of their data can be a risk. Which one of the following is the independent public authority in the European Union member state whom a data subject can contact in relation to data protection regulation? So this is your data protection officer. Which one of the following best describes the GDPR? Now, the GDPR, one thing is working in the European economic area. Now, the second is, what is it? Is it a set of data protection guidelines or it's a law? As we were looking uh, in, the, in, the, in the notes, we found that it's something that you can be fined for. So this is a law. Which one of the following is the primary reason for the introduction of the GDPR? Now the GDPR is to, um, is to protect personal information. So the GDPR, remember, operates within the European Union. So is to protect the growing amounts of data collected within that region. Which one of the following does the GDPR apply to? So, uh, social networks recording personal data for gathered from online activity, military officials, mm -hmm. no, individual storing records in household expenses, no. Lawyers like recording personal data as part of criminal prosecutions. No, so is social networks. Which of the following data processing activities is exempt from GDPR? Um, so which one is exempt? So one is um. Uh, the second one. Monitoring, uh, selling online services to individuals outside the European Union. 
This means that these people who are outside the European Union are not covered by the GDPR. 